Hey, what's up, everybody? I am Jason, and you watch my channel, Micro Investor. All right, so in this video, I want to talk about a subject that I just recently talked about, and that is Neo. Uh, since my last video about Neo a couple of days ago, uh, Neo has tanked even more. It went down over 10% on Monday, uh, and uh, if you guys know, I am a bull on Neo still, regardless of what's going on with the stock. And uh, I want to talk a little bit more about this. So an analyst cut Neo's price target down to 90 cents, saying even with the 200 million that Neo recently just raised, that they're going to burn through that cash within just a couple weeks. Wait, an analyst saying something negative about an electric vehicle company, saying that they only have a couple weeks left of cash? That sounds very similar to another electric vehicle company that has a lot of the same investors. Who are they? Oh, that's right, Tesla. And I would highly doubt that Neo's largest shareholders, and especially Tencent, would allow uh, Neo to crash and burn. I would think that they would do everything possible to prevent that. And not only those companies, but also the Chinese government, as Neo failing kind of looks bad for other um, electric vehicle companies to try to raise cash as China is trying to go that whole direction with electric vehicles um, and trying to get away from fossil fuels. And to get into more about why I'm so bullish on Neo is if you've ever experienced anything with a stock, if you've ever been invested into it, you'll see that this stock has changed rapidly like um, over time, over the last year. Um, when I first bought the Neo, six dollars and fifteen cents a share was the first time I ever bought into it. I think that's what it was. I'll check the video, but uh, that's the first time I ever got into it on the date of the IPO, and I sold that for a pretty good profit, and then I bought into it again, um, October thirtieth, two thousand eighteen. I got it for like um, five dollars and like sixty cents a share or something like that, and then I sold it on March fourth, two thousand nineteen, for uh, ten dollars and fifteen cents. So I almost doubled my money that time. So um, that's why I'm like right now where it's at is like at a buck fifty six. Um, even if I was to double my money on it at this current price, I'd make a pretty good return. And I know some people thought Neo was the Tesla killer. That was one of its many names. Also the Tesla of uh, China. But I never thought Neo was a Tesla killer. Um, I'm also a Tesla bull, so uh, I wouldn't think that. But uh, when I think about the price of Neo and the price of Tesla, I can get over 150 shares of Neo right now for the price of one Tesla share. So right now, my play on Neo is I really think they're going to get bailed out. I think that things are going to turn, and especially if things ever turn uh, in the not too distant future with the whole trade war, and especially with uh, Tesla's, you know, uh, Gigafactory opening up there in Shanghai. I really think that just the whole EV market in China is just going to keep moving. And I can see a thousand percent return on NEO um, isn't anything that would be much of a surprise because, like I said, I've traded NEO before at $10 a share. So this is a stock that, uh, in a way, I'm kind of just buying at a discount, but I'm definitely buying it at a gamble um, as anything could happen. You can't really predict the stock market there. I'm curious where Neo is going to bottom out at. I'm one of those people that think before things get better, they got to get worse. Um, but uh, we might be at the worst. I don't know. Um, but uh, I do strongly believe in Neo. I believe what their whole um, their whole marketing thing was with the whole lifestyle and all that. And I believe that uh, that they would get bailed out by, if not by an investor or by the Chinese government. So uh, that's where I'm thinking with that. But I'm curious to know what you guys have to say about NEO. I'm curious if anybody's invested into them or if they're thinking about investing into them. But please don't take this as any sort of financial advice. Please do your own research uh, when looking into the stock market. I'm just a guy making videos on YouTube. But um, as always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I have new videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.